I'm Jane Schultz. I'm a urogynecologist at the Lois Hole Hospital for Women in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I'm going to talk to you briefly today about urogenital atrophy and genital urinary syndrome of menopause. This is a common symptom complex that affects postmenopausal women. Approximately a half of postmenopausal women have bothersome vaginal symptoms related to urogenital atrophy and genital urinary syndrome of menopause. Urogenital atrophy occurs as a result of the loss of estrogen at the time of the menopause. The onset can be gradual or more sudden and can include symptoms such as vaginal dryness, vaginal irritation, pelvic pressure, sexual dysfunction, lower urinary tract symptoms such as urinary urgency and frequency, and recurrent urinary tract infections. These symptoms occur because there are estrogen receptors in the vagina, pelvic floor, and the bladder base. With the loss of estrogen at the time of the menopause, thinning of the tissue, loss of collagen and other supportive tissues, and irritation can occur related to the loss of estrogen. Another important thing to consider is that often this group of women are being fit with pessaries for prolapse or incontinence. Pessary fitting has been shown to be challenging in patients with urogenital atrophy and vaginal dryness. Often pessary fitting is more difficult and can be more painful unless the vaginal tissues are adequately prepared either with local estrogen or a vaginal moisturizer. One in three women also have surgery for pelvic floor symptoms. Often these tissues are thin and more difficult to handle at the time of surgery related to the menopausal changes. Therefore, use of local estrogen prior to pelvic floor surgery can make it easier sometimes to manage these tissues at the time of the OR. Also after surgery, Patients often um, have improved healing or less irritation if they are initiated on a local estrogen therapy after a pelvic floor surgery. Recurrent urinary tract infections are common in postmenopausal women, and local hormone therapy has been shown to be beneficial in this group in the prevention of recurrent urinary tract infections. This is likely related to changes in the vaginal microbiome that occur at the time of the menopause and can be reversed or halted by the use of local estrogen therapy. Options for managing urogenital atrophy and genital urinary syndrome of menopause include education, local hormone replacement therapy, and vaginal moisturizers. Local estrogen therapy is available in a number of forms, including creams, vaginal ovules, and a local estrogen ring. The vaginal creams that are commonly available include Premarin Vaginal Cream and Estragyne Vaginal Cream. There are also often Estriol Vaginal Creams or other um, estrogen creams that can be compounded. The most commonly used are Premarin and Estragyne Vaginal Creams. They can be used in a dose of a half to one gram daily for two weeks as a loading dose and then switched to two to three times a week usage. Initially when patients start local hormone replacement therapy, they may experience a little bit of vaginal irritation or some breast tenderness. Education is important in this circumstance so that patients are aware what to expect and more likely to persist with therapy beyond the initial loading dose and hopefully get through the um, irritative symptoms. Often then once they get through this initial period the symptoms resolve and they continue with the intermittent use without concern. Vagifem is another commonly used local hormone replacement therapy and comes in an ovule which is a 10 microgram dose which again can be used as a loading dose of daily for two weeks and then 10 micrograms twice a week thereafter. The other commonly used option for local estrogen therapy is an estring, which is a two milligram estradiol ring, which can be put in the vagina and left for three months, and then can be changed either by the patient 
or by the health provider. Occasionally patients require assistance with fitting an S-string. The nice thing about the S-string is that you have a continuous low dose of estrogen provided on a daily basis and you do not have to remember to use the um, either cream or ovule as an intermittent medication. Another option for treatment of urogenital atrophy is local moisturizers and these can be purchased over the counter and include such products as Replens, May, and Gynotroph. And again, these products can be used intermittently two to three times a week or on a daily basis in a small amount, dependent on patient preference and symptoms. In summary, urogenital atrophy is common in postmenopausal women. Roughly a half of postmenopausal women are affected by symptoms such as vaginal dryness, sexual dysfunction, recurrent urinary tract infections, and lower urinary tract symptoms such as urinary urgency and frequency. These are all related to changes in the connective tissues and loss of estrogen in the vagina and the pelvic floor at the time of the menopause. Common treatment options include local estrogen therapy or vaginal moisturizers, Patients should talk to their healthcare provider about these options. They are all readily available and effective for management of urogenital atrophy.